Today I'll compare the top 10 points of difference between the new Halo Collar 3 versus the spot-on GPS fence. They both claim to create GPS dog fences that safely contain your dog, and I've tested out both virtual dog collars, and I'll let you know what I think. Alrighty, so why would you consider a GPS collar for your dog? Well, I think there are many reasons. If you have a dog who's an escape artist, a GPS-enabled fence will help you keep track of her at all the time. The collar is also amazing as a training tool. It gives your pup some really important feedback as to what's allowed and not allowed. If they cross a certain boundary, well, they get multiple warnings before they reach that danger zone. And the collars now, they run on your smartphone. So you get alerts, push notifications when your dog is out of the boundary. With the Halo, you can reward your dog for not crossing into the danger zone and then returning back to you. They've got this thing that is really probably my favorite part of the whole app, and it seems really simple, and it's unique to the Halo Collar. It's the whistle function. Just on the very top of the app, you hit the hand and it whistles. It sounds simple, right? But if you train your dog properly, the dog will know when they hear that whistle, it's time to return to you, and then they usually get a reward. The reward could be a pat on the back, it could be love, it could be a treat, whatever works best for your dog. All right, well, before I start this quick review, let me thank the folks of Halo Collar for sending me this brand new Halo Collar 3. I was also able to score a spot on collar to give you my honest feedback on both collars. But let me say, I think really both of them are excellent tools for keeping track of your dog and really just having that peace of mind knowing their whereabouts at all times. Both are much, much more affordable than that old school method of putting a wire underground or even building a fence for that matter. There's so many new applications for these collars and I'll try to highlight some of them in my review today. Let me share with you my top 10 compelling points of difference between the Halo Collar 3 and the Spot On. All right, my number one point is the big price difference. Halo retails for $6.99, Spot on is going for the hefty price tag of $1,295. So as you can see, uh, both these collars, they're an investment either way, but the Halo is much, much more affordable. So Halo and Spot on require a subscription to really make the most out of the collar. With this subscription, you could see your dog's location, you can get accurate push time notifications, and you can track if your dog should leave your virtual fence. The cost for the Halo Collar subscription is $5.99 a month, whereas for Spot On, $9.95 per month. So there is an option for not having a subscription with the Spot On, but you really wouldn't be able to communicate with your collar. So I'm not really even sure why you invest all that money in the collar and then just not use that option. Note the $5.99 is the basic plan for the Halo, but if you want to use the more advanced features, there's an option for a premium plan as well and a standard plan. All right, my number two differentiation is the training. Now, what sets the Halo Collar apart from the other GPS fences, it's the training they provide. To succeed with a collar, you just don't really take it out of the box, put it on your dog and expect a miracle. You really need to train your dog on where the boundaries lie and what the different kinds of feedback means. Now, when I say training, it might sound a little bit intimidating. I don't mean that you're getting a PhD. It's like five, 10, 15 minutes or so each night. I did it after dinner, just kind of reinforcing with my dog where these boundaries lie and what the different types of feedback mean. Just use this as an important time to bond with your dog and help them to understand what the collar means. Oh, and I've got to mention that the training is with the dog whisperer himself, Cesar Milan, a well-known dog behaviorist who created the Halo's in-app training method. Training is really easy. It's right there on your phone. You can watch virtual videos. There's even a dog park, believe it or not, where you can go and interact with the other Halo staff and others who are using the collar. It's really kind of fun that they built this community within the app. Halo is therefore far more than just a GPS dog collar fencing system. Really, it's an in-app training program, a whole system that helps you strengthen your bond with your dog. All right, here's my number three. It's the world-class dog GPS and connectivity of these collars. So when I tested the Halo versus the Spot On, I found them both to be reliable in my yard and in the park where I tested it under many trees. One notable difference though between the Halo and the Spot On 
is that Halo uses direct signals and proprietary AI-driven software to leverage only the most accurate GPS signals when calculating your dog's location. By using machine learning, it discards false signals caused when satellite transmissions bounce off of buildings, trees, or other objects. All right, my number four is that the Halo works indoors. Now, why would you want a virtual collar indoors? I got a reason for that. Uh, so Halo, you see, uses your home Wi-Fi network. And that is a very big advantage for me in my house. So by using your home Wi-Fi network, it allows you to set up boundaries inside of your home. I've got a kind of a large overhang on one side of my house where I need to set a boundary. I don't want the dog crossing the boundary, but with the spot on, I wasn't able to do it because there's no clear view of the sky. All right, my number five is the location and activity tracking. This is uh, similar to your dog wearing a smartwatch. With the activity trainer, you can see how active your dog is and you can make sure that he's getting enough exercise during the day. I've got my wife walking the dog, sometimes the dog walker, myself. I like to just keep track of these things, right? Maybe even have a goal for taking on your, your dog on a few walks every day. So this kind of really just tracks that kind of progress. Hey, by the way, uh, walking your dog means that you're getting exercise too. So spot on, you know, they don't really offer that function. And I think that a uh, clear advantage to Halo on this one. Number six, there are some nuances when building a fence with the spot on versus Halo. And I've got to say, I think the Halo enables far simpler fence building. You only need to tap your finger on the app to set the fence post and then just drag it around the perimeter that you want to set. Then you can quickly attach that fence to every dog that you have with the Halo. So let's just say, for example, you're going to a birthday party and your pup's invited to join. You could set up that fence in just really a matter of a minute. I should also say that the Halo gives you the opportunity to set the fence by walking around with a collar in your hand. And this can be really handy, say, if you have an unusual property line or there might be other buildings, sheds, trees, whatever in the way. It's probably easier and more accurate to walk the fence line yourself. But if you're on the run and you need to set up a quick virtual fence, in my opinion, the Halo is much better. Okay, my number seven is customer support. As I mentioned, there's a bit of a learning curve with both of these collars. And when I was setting mine up, I did a virtual video call with Halo support. It's right there in the app itself. It's pretty cool. Uh, Justin, my trainer, took over the app and he showed me how to set up my first virtual fence. He gave me some tips on how to get the most of my collar. He even asked if I ever had problem with my dog getting into the garbage can. <laughs> Boy, do I ever. He encouraged me to set the home beacon, which is included in each and every box of the Halo, and you could set a virtual fence inside your house. It's really pretty cool. The Halo app seems to know that many users will have questions. They have a virtual dog park where you can get support seven days a week. It's a really pretty cutting edge tool within your subscription, and it's a real personal touch that I found was unexpected. Okay, here's my number eight. Uh, you can attend live events with dog trainers, behaviorists, and other professionals in the field as a member of the Halo Pack. <laughs> it's pretty cool. These kinds of unique initiatives are offered practically every week within the app itself, really giving Halo Pack members this extra benefit. I like how there's really sort of a, almost like a virtual community around this dog call. And there, as I mentioned, there's a whole library of dog-related content on the app. I've just really scratched the surface of it, but you can browse them at your own leisure. There's nothing like this on any other GPS dog fence systems on the market. Now, you're supposed to be having fun with your pup, not spending hours in research mode. So I really give it a huge advantage to Halo in this regard. Okay, my number nine is good for smaller yards. One thing to think about, we all don't live on a ranch or a farm. In fact, I've got a smaller size yard. It's just about 0.02 of an acre, and that worked just fine for the Halo. Spot on requires a yard of at least a half an acre. You know, showing this uh, collar to my friend, she has a small yard and her HOA won't allow her to build a fence any taller than three feet. So the dog easily can jump over that. Now, if you have a, a larger yard, let's say you already do have a larger yard, think about when you're gonna use the collar while you're traveling. I know when I go camping, for example, I'm not gonna have a half an acre of space around me. It's gonna be much smaller. So that's just an important consideration. 
when you're comparing the two collars. And we made it to number 10. This not, might not seem like the biggest deal, but I can tell you it is. The Halo collar has this protective cover around it. And that makes a big difference. Why? One, it protects the collar from dirt, from water, from grime. You could just wash it if you need to. Keep the collar looking sharp at all times. It's pretty important. But really more important than that, I noticed, is that it smoothens the collar out, right? It protects the collar. Whereas with the spot on, there's areas where it can get actually hung up. And I read reviews where the collar itself is getting hung up on branches. My dog loves chasing squirrels and birds and actually dive bombs under these branches. I could just really see this getting hung up and, and tearing itself off. Now, if colors are important to you, there are two new colors available with the halo collar, sort of this yellow color and the purple color. Come standard in the gray, but options if you want to distinction, uh, have a distinction between the colors. Maybe you've got multiple dogs on the app. You can color code them if you were. Okay, well that is a wrap. That is my top 10 points of differentiation between the Halo Collar 3 and the Spot On. Now I gotta say, I think both of these innovative dock fences are great. They're flexible, they're reliable, they're pretty easy to use. The Halo offers some really remarkable training and support, but you'll also be happy with the Spot On. So I hope this video was helpful. I'd love to read your feedback in the comments below and I'd really appreciate a thumbs up and if you subscribe so you can even see more videos on how to use your own virtual fence. Thanks so much for watching. Oh,